We've been done. We've done so many side quests, gotten so many spirits, helped so many Tanukis. But you know who needs help? Our sister. That's kind of what the game is about. And maybe we should actually get around to doing that. Maybe. There is a bike in front of us. It's Rinko's bike. We have gotten the parts we need to fix the bike. We are now going to advance the plot. Are we ready to go? Yes, we finally are ready to go. The Black Tower is complete. We do automatically change to the biker outfit, but don't worry. Right. Akito can't escape the Tanuki outfit that easily. Chapter 5 begins. The ending of Chapter 4 is the end of the open world. And now we enter the end game. We've come this far. We're not leaving empty-handed. Damn right. I'm taking back Mari. In front of us is Tokyo Tower. That's been our goal. We haven't been able to get to it because it's been blocked by hazardous fog. It says we're, like, we're not here on the map. Like, this is where we left. Like, we're in here. So, we can't go back. I mean, I guess it does let us go back at this point. Actually, I'm not sure how. Our motorcycles seem pretty trashed. But we don't have a reason to go back, because we already did everything we needed to do. Okay, hold on. We are still wearing... Okay. Just make... Got to, had to make sure that what's actually important is here. And, uh, you know, I don't know if we actually suck up any more spirits at this point, so I probably don't actually need the transmission beads. Uh, I probably will equip, no, unequip transmission, let's equip flame, gust, and, uh, self-defense. Look around and see if we see anything. Heading back to town? Well, no. N nah. Yeah, we've got bigger fish to fry. Let's move. It does let us do it. It's just that... Well, we don't need to at the moment. Anything in here? <laughs> back off! There's fog. That's what's in there. Do you ever wander into a convenience store without planning to buy anything? Yeah. 
Then before you know it, you've parted with your dough. I've never done that. Good stuff. Why would you go in here if you didn't intend to buy something? I mean, buddy, uh, be just casually wandering in for like, I don't know, for pleasure to visit the convenience store to have a good time. Who does that? All stocked up now. Yep, that's where we're going. The Tanuki, the man sized Tanuki approaches. He will not be stopped. I mean, we, we can be delayed by looking around for stuff on the sides, which is something that we do. Gotta get out! But I mean, we won't be stopped, just, you know, entirely. You just got to make sure that there's nothing around for us to pick up. There's some nether yakuza puffs right there. Something for us to pick up. Yoink. There's someone over there. Oh, hold on. An audio log? Yes, I believe this is the final audio log. File 999. And we did get an achievement for getting that audio log. Let us get some insight into the mind of Hanya. I was surprised to find that my assistants seemed to accept my plan. Of course... I haven't informed them of my true objective. I want to bring back the dead. No one would take that seriously. To them, I'm just the same passionate scientist they've always known. I feel some guilt about it. But I'm not doing this for my wife alone. Far from it. Our physical bodies are like shackles on our lives. And I will liberate us from that imprisonment. I will save all humanity. I will be the salvation of every last transient soul. Curiously, I am regaining some function in my hands. Perhaps this too is a sign that I am casting off the chains of my earthly prison. I too like to like to say whenever I show signs of good health, I tell the people around me, this is the sign that I am casting off the chains of my earthly prison. I feel pretty good today. Surely I am leaving the restrictions of the flesh. This is where I died. Full of regret. But thanks to you two, I can put that behind me now. You're taking off. I have to. Got nothing left keeping me here. Sorry I couldn't stick around. Till the end. It's alright. I can't quite bring myself to believe in the afterlife. Even though I'm like this. After all, if it were real, people would be happy to embrace death. Live. Embrace your life.
Let's go, partner. You know, you might say that wearing the Tanuki costume... What was keeping Rinko chained to this world? And now that things are settled, she had to move on. Is that gonna happen to you too? Probably. You might think that wearing the Tanuki costume is, is a little goofy, but I would say that Tanuki's big concerned looking face added a sense of uh, emotional gravitas to the scene. Message draft. It was all my fault. I'm so sorry, everyone. And that's it for Rinko. around to make sure we don't miss anything. Like all these pinwheels. Look at all these things. Didn't you say he was trying to bring his family back? You heard him before. As far as he's concerned, bodies are just wrappers for the soul. Pawns for him to use. There's no way we can avoid fighting her? No. Anyone in our way goes down. No exceptions. Well, it's time to fight his wife. Let's do this. You don't have to thank me. I will show you. So much. Please, the two of you. I always knew Oh, mm. I don't know how he eats that with the mask on, but he's just that good, I guess.
the vessel. What? No! Ah. Who are you? It is all to make you happy. Go so wrong. Yeah, I'm with you. If we don't fight. Sorry for her, but I'll put her out of her misery. Well, it's not really her, it's her body, which Hanya was using to to fight us. Take that bastard down. Much like how he was using KK's body earlier in the game. You just want to protect your family, don't you? You're a good father. I try. Once we head in, there's no turning back. Make sure you're prepared. We already looked at all that. Well, like KK said, Gotta be prepared. And I think that we're as prepared as we could be. No going back. This is the super point of no return. Yes, we are ready to proceed. All right, let's go. Did everyone here vanish too? Our guy's got to be lurking somewhere. Let's head up. We could, like, buy some souvenirs while we're here. been practicing this for a while that I might be the salvation of all Can't jump over that. It's too high. It's too much of an obstacle to get past. If you witness any suspicious activity, please report it to the nearest. What are you doing? We need to head up. I know. It's, but they, we have to go towards this one because it says that we can't jump over those ones. I'm sorry, Mari, but I had to I had to help the Tanukis and that one kid who wanted to play hide and seek. And there we had to get rid of that hoarder who had the messy house. And remember we had to save that that small yokai who the landlord kidnapped? You never even think about me at all, do you? You only ever worry about yourself. You're just afraid I'll die because of you, aren't you? What's wrong? I heard this voice. It sounded like Mori. 
They're probably trying to mess with your head. Hey, now what? Akito. Akito! Let's go! That little... Is that really how you feel? Don't let it rattle you. That's what the enemy wants. You're wrong. You're wrong. Snap out of it, Akito! <laughs> That, uh, little dialogue does make more sense after spending so much time doing the side quests. Akito, where have you been? Do you even care about me? You just care about those little tanukis of yours. It's not true. I also care about those Sakura trees that I had that they were dying because there was one Sakura tree that was sucking up all their life force, so I had to uncorrupt it. So all the others, all the other Sakura trees could bloom. I did that. And there was that... I cleaned out some, some well water. Hey, you said I was a good dad earlier. Truth is... I'm not even close. And I figured if I threw myself into my work, that'd be enough to protect my family. <laughs> I barely ever even showed my face at home. It was like we were total strangers. Lately, when I bring home a toy for my son, he wasn't even interested. Didn't care about those supercars anymore either. Okay, okay. But I'm not gonna run from this fight. I'm gonna protect them, no matter what. KK didn't know how to be a good father, but... <laughs> so that puppet failed to even buy me some time. You asshole! The death of the body is a natural phenomenon. And in liberating our souls from their corporeal shells, we are returned to our true form. Believe whatever horse shit you want, man. But what are you dragging innocent people? You cross the line! People always decry the truth when forced to face it. However, soon you too will come to understand how meaningless these earthly vessels truly are. Keep your hands off her! I have all the souls that I require. I will use them to shatter the barrier between life and death. Your sister will be the final piece. A foundation for a new age. You should be proud! Come away from her! The fall of the barrier will presage the rebirth of the world. And then I shall create a new paradise, though modest it will be. A place where the souls of my wife and daughter will shine for all eternity. Like how you will! I've just come upon a wonderful idea. I shall create a paradise for this girl as well. Such a willful spirit as hers is a rarity indeed. Perhaps she will even lead this new world. A new Mary for a new age. No. A new evil. Enough of your delusional bullshit! You're out of your mind! Am I now? Have you asked her? Why are you so certain that her spirit 
wishes to return to this shell. I... Can you imagine what your sister endures beneath these bandages? Remaining tethered to this body will only prolong her agony. You don't know that. Hey! Don't listen to his bullshit! Kill him now, or the world is done for! Akito! Get it together! The time is nigh. The world rests on the precipice of transformation. A new age will dawn! My dream will be made manifest. You know? Nothing. I never even knew what my own family was thinking. That's why you need to go find out for yourself. KK. I'm not stopping now. Are you with me? I am. Let's go. I gotta ask her myself. You can't die yet. Time for a rematch against the first boss, which is KK's body. And he has the same powers we do because it's it's KK's body. It's everything to me. There's nobody. Nobody that fights harder. But does anyone ever see that? No. Not even my family. So it's down to him. He really does need an ass kicking. Believe it's coming. I got no one. Back me he resisted. He resisted us tearing his core. He's very determined. Yeah, you do.
Kop, 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 kop. using his ghost wire on me. I wish KK was wearing a ghost version of the Tanuki costume. Knew I lived fast, but I never thought I'd be off in myself. KK. Let's move. Time for a jaunt into the abyss. Right. Let's go. Now we web swung the little Spider-Man web swing into the mouth of the giant. Tokyo Tower is complete. And that actually is all of chapter five. We now enter the final chapter, chapter six. Chapters go fast when there's no side quests. I mentioned earlier in the game, I wonder how fast the game would go if you didn't actually do any side quests. Apparently quite fast. Quite quickly, actually. Uh, but then we wouldn't have formed all of these powerful memories of all the ghosts we helped. Like, remember that one ghost that was attacked by a towel? It's like there's a flying towel, and it hit me in the face. You gotta get it. We did. Or that one ghost who needed toilet paper, and we got him the toilet paper. Memories that will last forever. And with that, that is the end of Chapter 5 of Ghostwire Tokyo. Next time, with Ghostwire Tokyo, we'll be going through the final chapter. As all, I believe, all yes, all of the lieutenants are done. We just destroyed KK's body. We destroyed the wife's body. Earlier in the game, we destroyed the daughter's body. So, lieutenants are done. Only one's le only one enemy left, and that is Hanya. We'll be going after him. And maybe, just maybe, saving dear sister. Then right, right before we reach the final boss... Yosuke appears again. Hey, mister! I didn't go to the afterlife because I wanted to play hide-and-seek one more time. All right, kid. We're kind of busy. But not too busy to not play hide-and-seek. Hide-and-seek side quest four. Begin. That is not going to happen. What is going to happen is we're going to be ending 
Ghostwire Tokyo. Next time.